Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of One Punch Man, Chapter 142. <laughs> um, I think Murata made a mistake. Um, I've already verified this with Viv, uh, just to run with the 142, so sorry if this is a little confusing. Um, but yeah, last chapter was, let's say, maybe a little bit boring. I was hoping for more, but... Maybe this one will uh, be a lot more interesting. And I know, I know, it's probably heresy, but it's just like, it just was. Sure, there was comedy, we got to see Metal Bat again, some action with him and King going, you know, back to the, the base and everything, or at least heading back to the base. And then the cool, like, you know, slingshot thing, but that was the bulk of what was interesting about that chapter, so... And I see a bug buzzing around my light. Lovely. But anyway, let's get into this. And we've got Tank Top Girl. Looking sexy. Uh, fitness is awesome, it says. Rejuvenated Offense is the title. Okay, so... Hmm. I like her abs. I don't really get to see her all that much. I bet her and uh, Mizuki would get along very well. I'd love to see some artwork between, with the two of them, and they like just working out, doing sports or something. But uh, let's see here. Okay, we've got um, crap. What is his name? Shiryu. Um, or say Ryu. I, I, there's too many names. I swear. Uh, he's like snoring in the hospital bed. My my god. Oh, and there she is. So she actually appearing in the chapter? Okay. Uh, these sure just don't look like the muscles of someone who's been lying in bed. Yeah, because he works out secretly. Because of course he does. Uh, Sueko. Oh, that actually wasn't Tank Top Girl all along. Why did I... Th I don't know. Um, so this is his sister, I'm guessing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> amusing. She just kept, like, poking him in the chest. Stop playing with your brother's chest, thank you. You look fine, after all. I thought you'd have some more, uh, depressed... Or you'd be more depressed after getting the absolute crap knocked out of you by that monster. You know, I love her design and everything. It, it's a nice design. I just... The, the little beauty mark, I hate them. Thought I was going to die. Did you come to drag me back to the dojo thinking that my fighting spirit was completely broken? Ha ha ha. Don't worry about the dojo. And she cracks her knuckles. Oh shit. So she's the one who's running things. While you were fooling around, I worked hard and took over the place. Really? Even though our dead grandpa. Okay, we're real. Void fist. What? Okay. So we're learning a lot about his family, okay. Our dead grandpa wanted you to take over the doge, big brother. But with you always wandering around, I can't imagine how grandpa would feel. The late Soyjo. Okay, so they all have, you have uh, Soy, or Sui Ryu, you have Suiko, and Sweet Joe. Sweet Joe! He is also known as, or he does the Void Fist, or he's known as the Void Fist. I'm not really sure. What the hell is the Void Fist? Is that like the vacuum palm from, like, Naruto or something? If it is, that's, that's awesome. Sorry, Suiko. I, I, I couldn't go back for a while. There's something I want to do now. I'll always become a hero? Uh... Then he mentioned something about that. Or somebody did. I don't know. You're still not done playing around, Peck Boy, and she keeps poking. <laughs> ah, wrong, and he deflects her hand. Um, with his perks. Uh, I want to become a hero. If I use my strength to help others, I'm sure Grandpa would be happy. And it'd be a positive for the dojo, right? I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't want to be trained by a hero? Like Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist, for example. Here we go again. First you said you want to be a model. Then you said you'd better suited for acting. 
<laughs> I guess I did say that. <laughs> but that, but this time I'm serious. She's like, hmm. Whatever. Do what you want, right? Uh, want me to peel you an orange? Yeah. <laughs> okay, convenient TV is convenient. We've just now received a live feed from Z City. Wait, what the hell? Is that an orange? Sweet Jesus, that orange is the size of a bowling ball. And she's doing it with her bare hands. This girl is a monster. I love it. Um, just another fitness girl for me to just shower my love on. Uh, but anyway. What on earth is that? It's called a Giga Drill Burk. A mysterious large glowing object is drilling into the earth. Earthquake in Z City uh, area. Something. Alone? I don't know. New information, special monster alert. Dragon level confirmed. Ah, it, it's disappearing. Yeah, because it drilled underground, you dumbasses. Uh, the mysterious wall that's been covering Z City is starting to vanish. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I called you a dumbass. Then. 95 day HQ. Okay, so that's the helicopter from earlier. We'll now resume rescue operations. Hey! There's two of the heroes. We're saved! Hell yeah! Hang in there! Master! Or master. Oh, well, he is screaming it. In his head. So I'm... Is it Tank Top Master that he's talking about? Moomin is talking about? I, I mean, I guess. Big sis. So she's up there shining like a fucking star as Fabuki's just here. She's alive. Thank goodness. She collapses on the ground. Or was she already on the ground? I don't remember. Ever since that time we were attacked by the spaceship, I've been restraining myself to, con uh, to complete against... What? Oh, retraining, not restraining. Why, why would he be restraining himself? Um... Training myself to compete against psychic uh, powers. That's actually not a bad idea. But again, I didn't even come close. Dude, you literally just started. That was like not even a year ago. So it's like, I just, if you could do that, that would be so much. Like, like how in the X-Men, like, Xavier like put like mental blocks and many of the the non-psychics members on the team so that they would have some level of defense against mental attacks. Be it they're not fail-safe or anything, but it's still, it's something. And also just being able to resist psychic powers would be very beneficial. Like being able to fight against like telekinesis or like instead of your mind being like manipulated by telepathy and whatnot. It can't be helped when you're up against her. <laughs> I won't lose Tatsu. He got that fire. He got that burning spirit. That's exactly why you are my rival. Um, I think you need to pick a closer level rival, my dude. I, I love the enthusiasm, but be realistic, tank top. I can feel my tank top tightening. Mostly because you're flexing. And it's squeezed. Did it just, it squeezed. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's, looks like she's about out of it. Damn. Huff, pant, huff, pant. And Silver Fang's just like, I think that girl's about had it. Come down here, young green miss. We'll get you some medical aid for your crucifixion, or crucifix wounds. Yeah, she's like just a damn star in the sky. Like, if the moon isn't charging her ass up, I don't know why they keep focusing on the moon. I never thought I'd see the day these uh, selfless, uh, solitary Class S members would start cooperating with each other. Even Tatsumaki herself. They have grown indeed. Aw, I like that Bang... I mean, he worked with his brother, and he's more than willing to cooperate with others. It's like, 
maybe he hasn't always been this way and maybe that's why he's more overjoyed about the fact that like these younger s class that are really powerful are like you know working together when they're this young when he might have not done it in the same you know back in his day or at least maybe not with anybody other than his brother bang if garo is inside that base then that's pretty much that well, that bastard ain't gonna die yet. We haven't gotten to see him fight Saitama or anything. Which I actually kind of wonder, will he fight Saitama next or will he fight somebody else? Maybe he'll have a rematch with Darkshine. That'd be kind of interesting. He might still get his ass beat, but Darkshine maybe won't lose confidence this time. And become a blubbering mess. And a joke. Big bro, you fought him as well. Is he not one to die so easily? We can't let our guards down. I mean, I wouldn't. Okay, whoa! The, the earth is shaking. We've got all the S-Class there. At least most of them. What? Wait, wasn't Flashy Flash still stuck down there? I'm surprised they're even thinking... Yeah! He could have been inside that Spear of Light as well. I like that they actually give a shit about anybody that might have been down there. Uh, he could have been inside that Spear of Light. That could also be... Oh, dear. It's all right. What? Oh, that's Tatsumaki sending telepathy to Fubuki. Flash wasn't down there. Huh? That moment I delivered the blow, there was a warp in space below that swallowed someone up. Just someone? Okay. They must have moved through another dimension. Dimensional travel. Could it be? Oh! That just means that... Ba um that Blast had that power when she was saved as a child. Blast? Yep, he just used it apparently a little bit differently, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Okay, I kind of like this, like a bit of a parallel. We've got Blast here in her flashback, where he has like the kind of like, I'm going to call them like black holes for the most part, just kind of with the giant like, spiraling center in the middle there and then we have the light energy explosive balls of homeless emperor so we're getting back into that and poor zombie man still a mess hmm <laughs> oh wait i think i actually saw this panel on twitter interesting hmm <laughs> it seems grow grow and orochi got done in Pfft, as i thought they were vessels incapable of expanding their minds uh, the Heaven's Ally, uh, only with the Chosen, those such as I. Okay. Well, it's freaking, <laughs> freaking sweet mass coming in, my mass looking, my okay, I just saw the next panel. He coming rushing in, it's like, motherfucker, I'm gonna punch your head off. Don't get ahead of yourself, evildoer. But then Black Sperm comes in, and it's like, Gotcha, little bitch. Whoops. In a weird configuration, we've never seen him before. <laughs> I guess that's true that bullies tend to split things or spit things out that would rather not be told. Isn't that right, Playboy Hero, who got ahead of himself? Oh, fuck, and here comes Fear Ugly busting through. He's like, Boo, motherfucker! Scaring the piss out of him. He's like, ah. Completely helpless after a little jump scare. Well, I mean, it ain't Five Nights at Freddy, but it would scare me if he jumped out. What a worthless piece of trash. Ah, don't get any closer. You ain't going anywhere with black sperm holding you. Quit squealing. Face caving punch. <laughs> Damn, so Fear Ugly got his first named attack. He just walloped right in. Oh my god, is his face going to actually break or cave in? And then is it going to reform? And we're going to get more confirmation that he is like a hidden monster or something. Actually, from what I can tell, unless that's his fist, that might be. Uh, Amai's head 
But I think that might just be uh, Fear Ugly's fist. But it looks like his neck stretched. Let's see here. Oh! Well, it caved in like from basically here up. Ooh. Ooh. Gah, what an ugly face. Says the guy making the ugliest face. That looks painful. That's uh, what being obsessed with external beauty gets you. Oh, you cocky son of a bitch. Oh, now he's just picking up a my. Oh, the Amai fanboys are probably hating this, and all the Amai haters are loving it. You're like a scarecrow with these stupid long legs. How about I make them longer for you? Oh, shit, he's gonna rip his... He's gonna... Oh, he's gonna rip him in half now. Oh, shit, he did rip him in half. He's starting to look like Zombie Man. Okay, if he doesn't reassemble himself, then maybe he wasn't a monster after all. Okay, Fear Ugly, your faces are getting worse. I can't get enough of this beating this pompous pretty boy piece of shit to pulp. For every panel, he's got a different face, and I have to love it. But also, they're ugly as hell, and they look like something from Little Nightmares. Good game, by the way. The second one was even better. From here on out, it's a, a free-for-all. Most amount of S-Class killed gets a lead. How about that? And now uh, Black Sperm's like, Oh, I like how that sounds. You think he can challenge us with something like that? I mean, he can literally make an army and kill them all by himself. Oh, and Child's like trying to pull Zombie Man away so he has time to recover. This is Child Emperor. Multiple enemy cadre have emerged from underground. Please be on guard. Clunk? What? Oh no, he he hit something and now they're all alerted to him. Okay, all the fact that all their faces are like blackened out and you just see their eyes and everything. It's like, hmm? I repeat, Child Emperor, run! Oh, well, Fear Ugly just stepped on him. Damn. Mr. Zombie Man! He <laughs> he so you're Child Emperor. Please, please don't, don't, don't let this go the way I think it's gonna go. Don't be a creeper. We don't need more creepers in this world. And I don't mean the cool ones from Minecraft either. Those sneaky bastards. I outran one in the night and nearly died from it. It was weird. I didn't have torches, so I just kept running around like an idiot until dawn because I didn't have a bed. Oh, but the second one got me. How nice. Must be neat being a spoiled little brat with smarts and a future. You could have had a future, too. I mean, I'm not... This punnel ain't nothing special. But I eventually found a job. I'm making something of myself, kind of. I've lost, like, 15 pounds in two weeks. I, I haven't been this light in more than a decade. But I can get as strong as you uh, get so strong you'll grovel before me. Okay, the fact that... What is up with these fucking faces? He's a man of a million fucking ugly faces. He should be called, um, like, multi-ugly, not fewer ugly. Um, from here on, I'll take on the name of Monster King. No, no, you can't. Orochi's dead corpse is cooler than you. I'll show you something way more interesting than Guru Guru's Esper powers. Wait. I actually kind of like this face here on this page. Um... Something from the horribly twisted personality of mine, born from an inferiority complex. I call it extreme violence. Uh-oh. What? Oh shit, that's a big ass ball. I didn't know you could make them that big. Get out of the way. So Fear Ugly is stopped only for Child Emperor to presumably be blasted away by another Emperor. Homeless Emperor. 
So it's a battle of emperors, it looks like now. Huh? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, what? Child Emperor might be dead. I doubt it, but he might be. Frickin' Fear Ugly made it out, surprisingly. That is like the largest bomb I think we've seen. Not the biggest explosion, but the largest of the bombs he's ever made. Okay, some of the heroes are trying to get out of the way. We've got what looks like Tank Top and uh, Pig God there. And on the other side of the explosion, we have Atomic and Ayan. Ayan? Yeah. Hey, Child Emperor, answer me. W was that one of the cadre's attacks? Yeah. Child Emperor? That's impossible. After getting caught up in that earth blender, they they still have that much power left? Uh-oh. Aw, oh, shit. That's... Aw, oh, fuck. He's arrived. He's arrived. Is he going to become Evil Natural Ocean? Is he going to become something cooler? Is he going to actually take on cool forms? I, I don't know. But he we've got water. Groundwater? Ian's like, nope, fuck this, Sensei. Teach me the water cutting technique now, motherfucker. Why? You haven't seen what I've seen. No. Are you okay? Wait. Aw, oh, fuck. Here comes Gums underneath Tank Top and Pig God. Are you okay? Look out. So Pig God figured it out. It's like a bear trap coming out of the ground with blunted teeth. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I ain't going back in there, motherfucker. Get out of the way. They barely dodged that. He's gotten bigger. He's been eating everything getting up there. He's a fat fuck. Um, wh what is that thing? I knew it would show up. Oh, and he's condensing back down. He is super digesting. It's digesting the debris instantly as it keeps eating. Makes me look like I'm on a diet. Ah, so he has like almost instant digestion opposed to pig god. So, hmm. Theoretically, if Dr. Genus got a hold of a sample from gums and genetically modified pig god with that DNA, could he instantly digest things or more quickly digest them and make him a better hero? These are the questions. Maybe in another power-up video. Anyway, it feels much better to be out in the open. Or open air. So that now we're back with Homeless. I can let loose my full power, or full firepower without having to worry about a cave-in. Oh. I guess that would explain things. Oh. Hey now. You're a rock star? What? power below those jiggling balls juggling balls not jiggling balls why do I think it's jiggling I don't know um there's no damn joke nobody told me about this wait who's saying this oh wait is this um black sperm saying this not to mention he doesn't seem to be or use up anything to fire them what the hell's going on is the energy being released from somewhere else I mean kinda Okay, Fear Ugly's joining it. So, not all the cadres knew each other's powers. This is interesting. This might cause a rift between them because they'll start inner fighting. I mean, the fact that they're stealing kills, presumably, or trying to steal kills from people or each other. I think there might be a bit of a conflict between them, which could be used against them. You bastards stealing my prey right when I get to the best part. So Fuhrer's join the fray again. It's a free-for-all, right? That means we all just have to follow the beautiful law of nature on this planet. Survival of the fittest. You picking a fight with me? I do find it interesting. Like, none of these panels look the same for him. Hmm. <laughs> the weak ones will disappear first. Let's enforce nature's law so they're all come is fear ugly just like getting bigger because i swear it's like the hulk half the time with him i wonder how he stacks up compared to pig god 
Anyway, so we've got all three of them now seemingly teaming up for the moment. Kuh. Once the race to murder the S-Class is over, I'm the Monster King. Don't forget that, asshole. <laughs> don't get mad when your beautiful laws don't give the results you want, hopeless emperor. Oh, and that was the end of it? Um, and then there's an end page note. Uh, Suiko's cover page top says Void Fist. I promised a friend no more theories, but here, uh, Homeless Emperor's big orb explosion was shaped too much like Blast Black Hole for him to have not saved Child Emperor. Wait, what? Too much like for him to. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we didn't even get to see what happened to Child Emperor, so could be. We, we, we might. Who knows? But anyway, that was that was a pretty fun chapter. Like, the S-Class are actually worried about each other. Am I mask getting the shit beat out of him? We'll definitely have to confirm in a future chapter if he's actually, like... Maybe he only had, like, limited healing powers. I mean, I doubt he's dead, but... This would definitely confirm if he's a monster or not. Or has other powers that we're just not aware of. I'm still going with that he's kind of like Clayface in a way. Or something. Like, I had a whole theory of, like, different possibilities of what that whole significance against, um, Does was all about. Hello, loud backfire. Um, still going off. Like, damn, dude, get that thing checked out. Um, but... Are they just sitting somewhere? I can just keep hearing them. But... It... Okay, motherfucker, move along. I gotta talk. Um, but yeah. So, like, this will definitely confirm if he's a monster or a human with some kind of weird abilities or something. Which, it's kind of interesting, like, how he hates Zombie Man kind of in that way. Because, like, he's like, you're not a normal human like the rest of us. Yet, you're a guy who can also heal from impossibly fatal wounds. So, it's like, your skull was basically caved in. So, like, dude, if you come back from this, I hope Zombie Man is conscious enough to know, like, what happened. Or somebody saw that shit. Like, surely they saw him, like, get, like, punched the fuck out and seemingly die. And then Zombie Man be like, hmm. Truly, I was the human, because that was no man. Not anymore. And then that's when he comes back and is like, You motherfucker, I am human, I am beautiful, blah blah blah. I need a Tylenol that hurt like hell. Also, I think the highlight of this whole chapter, other than like the big explosion and everything, was... Purely just the fact of how consistent Murata was with drawing um, Fure Ugly in like a different like pose and face every single panel. That was cool. I like that. I appreciate that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, Child Emperor seemingly was taken out or likely it could be that Blast saved him. I mean, he is in the general area. I like that they had concern for Flashy. But, you know, Tatsumaki was like, nope, he got warped away. And then she started thinking of Blast, and then that was a good transition into the S-Class and everything. So, that's cool. The whole, like, um, Sui Ryo and his little sister, and, like, we're learning about their family. They're, like, the heirs to the Void Fist, I guess? I mean, I would think that's that. You know, but they don't use, like, any kind of special techniques that were like that, did they? Or, you know, like, during the super fight? So, I don't know. But anyway. Um, yeah. A lot happened in this chapter. Gums came back like a bear trap, and we find out that he, like, can super digest stuff. And Pig God's kind of worried, like, that, you know, it's like he's better than him. Like, he's very durable. You never did any physical damage to him. And he can also digest way quicker so he's not incapacitated with, like, all the stuff that he's eaten. So, that's troublesome. But you got Tank Top Master there to help back you up. So, maybe they'll fare a little better. Um, then you had the whole, like, interesting, like, 
Fear Ugly thinks he's going to be the Monster King now and everything, and like setting up like the free for all of like the killing games for the S class and all that stuff. So that those are some interesting concepts, and I'm sure there's something else I'm missing, but uh, uh, we can always discuss that in the comments. So please let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. Uh, see what you like. Suggest things for the future. Um, I'm on the road to 500, so 500, 500 by the end of the year. So if you can help out, please do. Uh, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. I thought there was a burp. And until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings. Um, yeah. A lot happened. Evil natural waters back and all that stuff. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Love it.